What is up guys and welcome back to another Instagram tutorial today once again We're gonna talk about Drake this picture right here the one that he posted on his Instagram account And since he posted that you guys have been requesting this look to me So today I'm gonna show you how to recreate exactly this kind of brown vintage inspired Drake look using only your smartphone And again the free Lightroom app of course as always I've created a preset on exactly this look You can download it from my website the link is under this video and it's in the all presets pack with over two 200 presets and the cool thing about this pack is that once I create new presets they're automatically updated to the pack so you just have to get it once and you'll get all the new presets that are coming on this channel as well as the 200 presets that are on there already so if you have the pack already um, start working with this Drake preset today if you don't I really recommend that pack because it's a great deal make sure to check it out link is under this video subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell and of course if there's anything you need from me as this tutorial today always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle I'm open for all of your questions your DMs and I'll try to reply as fast as I can now I've said enough let's jump right into this tutorial the first thing we need of course is a picture taken in let's say um, sunlight just before the sun sets um, that golden light and then we're gonna open it in the free lightroom app so we open the app right here I've chosen this picture of Drake once again sitting in the sunlight and to me it looks as if it's taken with the mobile phone so it's the perfect base for this tutorial the first thing we want to do is go to lights down here and to curve on the upper right side and I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here take your time to come as close to this curve as you can and once you have this curve this smooth s curve here we are done next thing we want to do is just boost up the exposure a little bit to plus 0.31 we want to pull down the contrast to negative 20 right there boost up the highlights to plus 5 boost up the shadows as well all the way to plus 30 or 31 then we want to pull down the whites to negative 20 negative 23 right here we want to pull down the blacks as well all the way to negative 46 right there then we're done with the lights we go over to color here what you want to do is just boost up the temperature to plus eight and we want to pull down the saturation here to negative 19 right there then we go up here to mix on the upper right side for the red tones what we're going to do is just pull down the hue a little bit to around negative 26 then we go over to the orange tones we boost up the hue to around plus seven and we boost up the luminance as well to around plus six we go to the yellow tones here we pull down the hue all the way to negative 28 and leave the rest as it is go to the green tones this is going to affect the plants in the background so we want to pull down the saturation all the way to negative 53 and pull down the luminance as well to negative 44 right here then we are done with the mix we go to grading here on top and for the shadows we want to pull the hue to around 173 that green almost blue area and the saturation up just really slightly to around six to give those shadows that tint then the mid-tones we're not going to change but the highlights again we want a hue of 53 and a saturation of around 21 is perfect and then we want to pull down the luminance here a little bit to negative 28 and then we're done here we go over to the effects tab what we want to do is just boost up the clarity to around plus 16 and boost up the dehaze to plus 40 eight right there to get that crisp back in and the last thing we do to get that vintage vibe is boost up the grain not too much though maybe 22 is perfect and we are done here and this is it guys here's a before and after and i think we came super close to this uh drake dark vintage uh, reddish inspired look using only our smartphone and the free Lightroom app keeping in mind that he's taking his pictures probably with a film camera so I think it's really great how close we can get using only these tools now once again I've created a preset on exactly this look if you want to save some time or you're having troubles following along to the tutorial it's linked under this video and you can download it from my all presets pack um, in that pack there's over 200 presets for you to use inspired by many of your favorite rappers celebrities and just overall some really cool looks so make sure to check that out in that all presets pack because the next cool thing about it is that every time I create new presets they're automatically updated to the pack so you just have to get it once and you'll get a growing presets pack which is a great deal so make sure to check it out link is under this video 
Of course, feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and if there's anything you need from me, always DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm trying to reply as fast as I can, and I'm really always excited to hear from you. So thank you so much for all your love, the support, the request for today's video, and for watching this video, of course, and also I hope you'll tune in to the next one. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy, peace.